Live from the Crypto.com Arena in beautiful, dangerous downtown Los Angeles, it's the 95th Annual Christmas Awards, honoring holiday excellence. Now your hosts, two people from the E-Network you've never heard of. Don't be alarmed, but if Santa looks different this year, it's only because he's on Ozempic. <laughs> <laughs> the giving of gifts is truly an art form. Our first award honors those who are not good at it. Here are the nominees for most disappointing gift given to a 10-year-old boy. <laughs> for Granddad for Monopoly Frasier Edition. Gam Gam for clothes. <laughs> and Aunt Shirley for a goat has been donated to a family in your name. And the Santee goes to Gam Gam for clothes. This is Gam Gam's second nomination and first win. She was nominated last year for Weirdest Smelling House. Oh, wow, folks, you got this chatterbox speechless. <laughs> told me he wanted a Nintendo Switch, so I knew I had to go out and buy him Dockers pleated khakis with a sewn-in belt. <laughs> Grandmother just knows. Thank you. A huge part of a family Christmas is performative. Acting surprised, entertaining a deeply disliked relative, or lying about the quality of a meal. The nominees in the best performance category will be recreating their nominated moments for us throughout the ceremony. Starting with Dad, nominated for pretending to love his son's gift. Whoa, buddy! I love it! Fits me great! I'd rather be golfing. You know, I've never been golfing before, but I'm gonna start because of this awesome T-shirt! You crushed it, buddy! Thank you. Spectacular. Now, as we all know, we don't choose our family, and we certainly don't choose who our family members bring home for Christmas. Here are the nominees for most unwelcome, uninvited guest. <laughs> Cousin Mike for his new white girlfriend. <laughs> Uncle Matt for a huge untrained bull mastiff. <laughs> and sister-in-law Tanya for COVID. <laughs> and the Santee goes to, wow, Cousin Mike's new white girlfriend. Mike's new white girlfriend is also nominated in the worst side dish broad category for homebrew kombucha. Made me a plate. I felt at home. Hey, sorry about her. And I was given the best gift ever an introduction to a beautiful culture. Hey, please play us off. <laughs> now, nominated for best performance, your fiance's mom, Carly, singing her confident, committed rendition of Do You Hear What I Hear with incorrect lyrics. <laughs> Tiny man are all eating silver and ham. I hear them eating silver and ham. <laughs> so confident and so incorrect. Now, please welcome the Leonardo DiCaprio of Hotel TV, Mario Lopez. <laughs> hola, hola, Feliz Navidad. Last night, I had the honor of hosting the Technical Christmas Awards, honoring achievements in the decor. Here are some of the winners. Jeffrey D. Taylor for Most Ass Gingerbread House. <laughs> Thomas Dimitri for Most Unevenly Lit Tree. And Craig Harvey for Most Dangerous Blood, which was awarded posthumously. Thank you, Mario. Every year, the Christmas Academy honors one individual who showed incredible bravery in service of their family. This year, we honor Charlie Bell for Grandpa Needs Help in the Bathroom. Uh, 
You know, uh, you never want to get that phone call, but uh, <laughs> when you do, you go in there, grit your teeth, and try not to make eye contact. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm horrified to accept this award. Thank you very much. <laughs> And now our final nominee in the best performance category, it's your visibly high cousin Nathan's stunning answer to why does it smell like weed in the garage? I don't know. Thank you. Thank you. Lots more ahead this evening, including the award for biggest bombshell drop during dinner. Will cousin Layla take it home with I did 23 and me and we have a sister we've never met? We'll find out after the break and live!